Okay, so let's make it happen that when we click on a name, it adds it to that list. What we will eventually want to do is in our app parent component, create another method called add favorite and we'll pass an ID. For now, we'll just console.log. I know it's a lot of console logs, but it's a nice way to incrementally check that things are working. And as you get more proficient with React, you can skip this step because you know it's going to work most of the time. So here, id to add to fav. And we want to pass that id. To be able to trigger that callback from our names list, we will pass it as a prop. Add favorite equals this that state that add favorite. I created that method and I passed it to the name list component. So I can go in my names list component, add add favorite here. And then when I return here the list of names, let's put it on multiple lines. I can now add an on-click event, which will fire whenever I click on one of these names. And whenever I click, I want to return a function that will call add favorite and pass name.id because we want to pass it to the app with an ID. So technically now it should trigger this add favorite and console log add it to add to fav with the ID. I've saved both files. Let's give it a go. Tobias. Boom. Add favorite is not a function. Something went wrong. Add favorite is created and is passed. Oh, you know what? It's not this that stayed at add favorite at all. It's actually this that add favorite that bind this. I'm not passing a state element. I'm just passing a method that I want to call. Another save. And now it should work. Let's write Caroline. Boom. Number seven. Number one should be area. Oh, Logan. Number four. Beautiful. So armed with that knowledge, I should be able to go and instead of just logging that, and then I should be able to go ahead and push that new um, ID into my favorites list. So let's try to blank that out now that we're closer to a working functionality. And here I will create a list that will grab state that favorite and concat our new array with the new ID. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a constant that takes uh, a current list of favorites, which is empty, but will not be always empty. And I concat a new uh, ID into it. And then I can use that list to this set state and Favorites will now become list. We can refactor again the name. I'm not really good at naming things right the first time, but it makes sense once you get the code block to make better variable constant names. So this is a fav list. It's a bit better than just list. Give it a save and let's check it out. August, Serafina, Maya, Nora, boom, 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 adding all the names. It works beautifully. I already have the CSS ready for shutting it down, but it's not working. We'll check that in next video. And also, one thing we want to add is if I click on Aria, I want Aria to be gone from that list because I don't want to click again and Whoa, what's happening and see that's going to trigger some problem because now we got two react elements with the same key. So what we want to do is 
whenever a name is shifted to the shortlist, it should not display in the names list. Mm -hmm.